go ahead and start the recording. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll share my screen just really quickly here before handing it off to you, Yahui. So, um, so welcome to the Chaos Metrics Model Working Group meeting. I think today we have it looks like a relatively short agenda, but I think you know with you doing his overview of of Compass, that'll take us a little while, and we can talk through kind of challenges that you're having and, and successes that you think and kind of what the roadmap is um, for the future and then how we can kind of promote this work uh, in chaos as well. And then I, there are a few kind of follow-ups on some of our metrics models that I want to talk about as well. And that I did I did my action items, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so thanks, anyway. to, thanks to Matt's help. Yeah, <laughs> some encouragement. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and so just I, kind of work, working through that. So go ahead, John. Yeah, yeah I, I got stuck. I got stuck in Europe for like two and a half extra days last week because flights and stuff. So I am a little bit behind uh, okay. in catching up. So well, they are, they but I got them done. done. So this will this should get us. I think there might be a little bit of work that we have to do just to kind of get them ready for markdown format. You know what I mean? And I, I did have a few questions in them, Yahui, that maybe you could answer today that we could solve. So anyway, um, before we do that, though, why don't I stop my share and Yahui, if you want to share yep. your screen and, and show okay. us your chat. Yep. Yep, I can see it. Sure. All right, so this is on Giddy. Yeah, the current uh, do domain name is on Giddy, and awesome. uh, basically it's a uh, uh, the version we are prepared for uh, for launch out uh, next month. So before that, I would like to to demo it to everyone in in our uh, chaos community to let uh, you guys to try to use that and give us some feedback um, about feelings, uh, about any user experiences. Uh, give us some suggestions we can improve that because in the past uh, like uh, two months. We are very um, hard working on, on the whole things improving and uh, and including the adding the data, designing the front end and uh, and the interaction between the front end and the back end. So yeah. I like the I like the design a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. So the whole page you can see this is our logo. Uh, and uh, currently we give it name as OSS Compass. Uh, open source software compass and uh, uh, the currently th this we are going we are going to add uh, the metrics model uh, uh, definition and 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 the descriptions and especially for the uh, uh, for the measurement uh, we we had in in our ER service so we would like to uh, give give them more de uh, descriptions and community we already set up a slide uh, uh for the for the community you know, to to if you have any questions we would like to talk talk here and the candidate about is it's empty still and and the uh, and the uh, and github it's prone to the it's prone to the uh, uh, community on github we had and currently we had uh, eight uh repositories we created by ourselves we also uh, you know, uh, fork uh, two backend uh, of the group mm -hmm. component, but the rest of the other eight are, are, are created by ourselves. And, and the Gitty uh, the same. Uh, we mirror the um, GitHub repositories into the Gitty uh, repositories uh, a platform. And so, the, so the work primarily occurs in GitHub. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, because the all the repositories between the Giti and GitHub, they can sync up with each other. So basically, we're all working at uh, uh, GitHub, and uh, any at, any update will sync up to the Giti. Okay, thank you. That's, that's awesome. And uh, basically, this is the whole page. Uh, the things that uh, that is point to the thing you want the most in open source work. Actually, it's coming from the movie. <laughs> uh, what, what movie? Yeah, it's a um, private. Uh, I, I mentioned that the, the compass in the private. Uh, okay. What's that? California, uh, California uh, private. Uh, I like it. Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. 
Probably too much carbon. Yeah. I like it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I got gotcha. I've met and, Johnny Depp. For yeah. real. <laughs> and basically, you can you can uh, you can uh, enter type any uh, repositories existing in GitHub and Getty. Of course, if it's already it's already existed, we can help to uh, uh, to fund it. Uh, um, and uh, if it's not uh, uh, existed yet, you can submit your project. Uh, later on, I will I will show how to how to submit a new project, uh, no matter on GitHub or GitHub. And uh, here below <coughs> below it's uh, some hot hot projects uh, we linked. Uh, mo uh, some of some of them are still uh, under the, the data collection and analysis. Uh, currently, we uh, we have a collect uh, uh, like uh, more than almost the one hundred uh, one thousand project. The data is ready, but um, for the rest of the other project, uh, we are waiting for more people to. If you have interest on those projects, you can you can enter uh, type the project. Uh, you you have uh, you have interest, uh, no matter on GitHub or GitHub. Uh, so this is the universe. We, uh, this is still under in work. Uh, we are preparing to design that uh, every um, every ball is um, it's a matrix model, and uh, around it it's uh, some it's, a, it's some matrix. And here it's a special thank you to Chaos and uh, to Grim Lab. Because we we already use most of things from uh, especially for the metrics model and metrics and the green map as a backend, so we mark it as here. And uh, and uh, of course we can we can step into the uh, repositories. Uh, of course, you, you, can I ask a question? Yeah. Yep. So what is um, just on the screen right here, I see metrics, models, and dimensions. What is dimensions? Uh, dimensions Dimensions means, uh, you know, uh, we set up the, uh, the context area as an as a, as ecosystem. And the ecosystem, we define it into three dimensions, uh, robustness, productivity, and niche creation. So okay. all the metrics model we would like to group uh, into these three okay. dimensions. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, okay, maybe we can <clears throat> walk down to one. So here you can see uh, all the uh, currently we have three metrics model already: uh, code quality, guarantee, community activity, and uh, community uh, support and service. So in the first the top. Uh, Thing that you can say, uh, this is Rails. We found uh, actually I don't really know what Rails pr produce, but uh, this is just for example. Yeah, and you can you can uh, add more uh, repositories. But firstly, we can go through the the uh, the following the uh, fingers and charts. So uh, here we firstly could see the general result for for these three models. Uh, uh, for the first three uh, in the uh, latest uh, late, uh, in the last three months, but we can uh, adjust the, the time range and to find more time uh, range to find the data. And each of the line represents one matrix model score. And if we uh, sc uh, scroll down. We can find this is the first the code quality uh, guarantee uh, uh, matrix model. This is the general result, and this is the and so for the for the rest of thing it's a it's a matrix uh, composed of the of this matrix model, and uh, you can find that um, uh, for the contributors we have uh, uh, like a, actually the total uh, one is it's the real uh, the matrix. But uh, we would like to uh, deep uh, uh, deep dive into the uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 detailed rows to compose of these total numbers because we in this matrix we care about the PR creator, commit author, and code reviewer. So 
we will analyze the rest of the numbers. And if you say, if you can say, I may I remove the mouse, and for the rest of the other metrics, we will we'll move better because we can say it's a different things. Um, my laptop screen is a little bit, uh, it, 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 it's, uh, it's a little, it's kind of late, uh, small, but if you put it on a big screen, you will find a lot of interesting things when a lot of metrics put together. And uh, for the rest of the other metrics, they um, they uh, coming from the metrics definition uh, exists in the metrics model we had in chaos. And uh, we, if you scroll down, you can find uh, all the metrics in this metrics model. And uh, if we compare with uh, another metric, uh, another um, repositories. Um, because I don't really know what uh, uh, rails point to, but we can run them to select another one. Uh, so the first, uh, the first change, it, it's a little bit change. It's not uh, showing the, it just is showing the latest result of, of these two repositories for the code quality, community support, and, this, uh, and activities. And this is the two, uh, this is uh, uh, the two uh, comparisons. Uh, sorry, the compa some comparisons between the two repositories. But uh, I I I have to mention that uh, there is no meaning to compare two repositories which has no relationship with each other. We have to compare the you no know, the the repositories uh, who uh, that belong to the uh, similar areas like uh, the op operating system or, or AI platform or any other things. So, but, but anyway, uh, you can see that uh, we put the, uh, the metrics belong to this, uh, the same, uh, uh, belong to the same repositories. They have the same color. For example, the Manspor got green, uh, no matter dark green or light green. And uh, and the rails had uh, blue, no matter dark green, a uh, dark blue or, or or light. So everything is here. And uh, currently we uh, we plan have uh, uh, two more uh, metrics model, uh, which had. Uh, which I, I'm, I'm planning to contribute to chaos first. Uh, first is a community, uh, sorry, the organization activity and the other one is a, as a developer uh, attraction. After I, I can contribute to chaos, we would like, would like to implement on this what story. Was second, what was the second one? Uh, the developer attraction. Oh, developer attraction, okay. So uh, this is for the the thing uh, the the repository already exists. If if you have any things that doesn't exist, you can submit your project. Uh, here <clears throat> you can see that we have two different kind of uh, repositories. One is for software artifact repository. The other one is for the uh, governance repositories. Uh, the, the thing is, is that we're considering that uh, for one community, they would have different kind of uh, repositories. Uh, some, uh, some is, uh, of course, it's uh, produced uh, <coughs> the software artifact uh, mm -hmm. as a general result of this uh, output or achievement of this uh, uh, community. But of course, they have many other repositories which is uh, provide assistance for this community. For, for example, in, in our case, in our case, we have community repositories. Uh, we can, of course, we can type it here. And we, we also have, we, we noticed that in many communities, they would have some uh, website community, website repositories. Uh, we can also um, put it here. Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure if metrics model are right here. I can try. 
Uh, currently, the proxy is still slow down, but uh, uh, we can we can check uh, because all the uh, all when you, when you create okay submit success. Uh, uh, you can you can you can say you uh, I have just uh, created this pull request to this uh, to this repositories and exists in OS Compass. Uh, we can type it here. You can say uh, I just uh, submit this uh, basically the result, uh, or uh, there is one bot to check the, the format is correct. And um, uh, currently we had uh, except for the uh, bot uh, check, and we also uh, uh, in, uh, introduced the the, uh, the manual uh, review of this. Uh, 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 require, request analysis request. So basically, for the single single project, um, um, they are uh, so quite simple. They, they just you can just uh, uh, type the the GitHub or Gitty uh, URLs. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, of course, after after uh, we check uh, we could review that uh, this YAML file is correct. We will merge the pull request, and after this pull request, create a merge. Uh, our, our backend would, would trigger the, the data analysis. And uh, and in the project information, we have another uh, type of uh, things to organize the, the whole metrics model result. That's called uh, organizations. For the organizations, as I mentioned, this is just a for example. Uh, we have two types of projects. One is for software artifacts, the other is governance project. Uh, when you type, when you input, uh, uh, sorry, type, type the two different kind of projects on the OSS Compass Submit page, um, they, they, will, uh, they will help you to create this YAML file. And finally, we will create the, uh, the whole organization <coughs> metrics model uh, analysis. Okay. Okay, uh, currently um, we we are trying to collect this uh, before someone uh, create uh, create the, the or submit the new requirement for some specific repositories. We are trying to collect some uh, 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 some famous uh, repositories, no matter in Getty uh, or, or on GitHub. We will uh, collect those data because a lot of famous uh, uh, projects they have a lot of data. We have to uh, handle it and collect it uh, for kind of long time. So we have pre 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 to prepare for that. <clears throat> okay, this is the big thing I I can show today, and uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, link of the service. Uh, welcome everyone. Try to use that and give give, give us the feedback. And uh, in the following one month before it's really uh, open for public publish for everyone, uh, we have still a lot of work to do, uh, including the um, uh, front end improvement and the data collection and uh, and the documentations. Because as you can see that. Uh, OS Compass, we had uh, you know, repositories including the uh, front end and back end. We also have uh, created uh, a website which is, uh, is, uh, is building up right now, and uh, we have uh, docs and the communities. And docs mostly, uh, we just uh, point to the metrics model we had in the chaos. Uh, currently, it's still empty, just to have a uh, uh, some folder structure like niche creation, productivity, robustness, these three dimensions belong to the ecosystem. And uh, and in the in the community, uh, uh, yeah, mostly uh, uh, empty. And uh, I, I would like to show the acknowledgement and thank you for the chaos uh, uh, 
uh, provide a lot of support on the image on the matrix model and the backend support. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. So Sean, I'm curious what your reaction is just as an Augur developer, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I think, you know, this, <laughs> you know, Matt, I am, uh, I'm, I'm, ref I'm reflecting on, um, so earlier, earlier today, I had Matt and I, and a few other folks had a conversation with, is it okay if I share this? A different group, but a different group, um, that's trying to do something similar and, um, I won't name them, I suppose, but you know, you all have done something fantastic here and, um, I, I don't know. I, I think I think it's just really great. Like I think the the really hard part of all of this is getting quality data, which you've built the infrastructure for. Number one, and then number two, presenting it in a useful way. And and you've done that. I mean, I think. I mean, I just think this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Because we have a lot of people mm -hmm. in the in the past several months. Uh, including Chen Qi Liang uh, here, and also uh, we have a lot of excellent uh, uh, engineers coming from the GT, and they provide uh, they provide a lot of work on the uh, front end designing and the interaction between the front and the back end. Yeah. No, I um, I I just I, I love this. Um, uh, uh, I just, I, I love it. I, um, I don't, I don't, um, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I think this is just a tremendous, tremendous work. Um, you know, I've been building these tools myself for a while now. And, um, I think we, I think Augur does data collection really well. I don't think it has a presentation layer. Uh, in a design that is um, this effective at communicating the metrics, um, and I think I think you've you know taken uh, some of the core of Grimoire Lab and and built a prettier, um, more targeted at these metric models view on the data than than I've seen before. I mean, I just think I mean I don't know I don't say I'm like wow I guess. Yeah, I have the same reaction. Sean, I'm curious, like, what you think of, like, the work that you've done with Augur and kind of the workflow that you see here, you know what I mean, with respect to, like, adding adding new repositories, enabling that workflow back through GitHub, you know, do you do this with Augur? Is it more manual? I'm wondering so, if this So, up. there is a, I mean, you know, we have um, an interface that I'm testing right now where you can create an account and uh, put in the repos that you're interested in. And if they already exist, they show up right away. And if they don't, um, you get notified that the data will be collected. So it's um, intended to be accumulative in a, in a similar way. But um, the, the design and the flow is, it, it's just not as, I mean, we do the best we can, but it's not as well thought out as this. Like, you know, no disrespect to the team that works with me on Augur. It's just this is, you know, I, I think this puts together a lot of pieces that haven't been all put together in one place before. I agree. That's my reaction as well. <clears throat> so I also have the same wow reaction. Um, part of me is is thinking how we're going to need to, in the metrics model working group, uh, kind of keep pace with the work that you're doing. I mean, your work is so fast. We haven't run this fast in the chaos project uh, ever. No, I no, mean, no. I mean, no, no, I mean, no, absolutely in, not. In the, I mean, this has really come to fruition in the last, it feels like six months. I don't know what the engineer time has been, Yehui. And Cheng Chi, but you know what I mean, like kind of the the focused work. But I feel like I remember you it's, telling me about your conversation with Giddy, like <laughs> the summer. Well, it's, 
including our our friends from JG. They all both um, they all have uh, just the part time to join these projects because you know we already have applied at the beginning of this year, lot of work, lot of other work to, to handle. But uh, we do have put a lot of effort on, on this project because we really like the whole things we 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 build up together. So including the uh, the metrics model designing and uh, and also um, the, the whole service we 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 set up. So we we think we can we we hope we can create some values for for the people in the open source communities. And, for sure. Uh, yeah. For sure. Can you? Um, Yuhui, can you kind of tell me like what what is Giddy hoping to to achieve with this outside of the obvious, you know, giving giving insight into to projects? Is there is there a kind of a longer term goal? That... Yeah, because uh, after Giddy, uh, uh, because they as I mentioned, they put a lot of effort on the on the things using chaos metrics model and build this service to publish it to everyone. And the project on GitHub and Giti, they want to set up the whole, um, you know, the evaluation system mm -hmm. to help people to understand what is the uh, your um, open source community going on. Because in, in their platform, they have uh, like over um, one uh, one thousand, like one thousand and uh, and fifteen million projects. On their platform, a lot of platform, you know, they just set up a, a repositories. They don't know how to operate, how to manage that. And they would like to set up this system to help them to understand how to manage their own project um, on okay. Giddy, of course, on GitHub. Does um does Giddy provide uh, internal like inner source services like GitHub does, like enterprise Giddy? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, I mean, could a goal for Giddy be, would they provide Compass internally as well on enterprise Giddy, do you think? Sure, I think so, because they would uh, have planned that uh, to in, uh, use this Compass result and, and service to connect with the Giddy service. So the, the all the repositories on Giddy, they would use uh, the compass service directly okay you know, the enterprise users or, or the individual users on GitHub. okay that's interesting yeah so i mean i'm i'm, I'm wondering like does giddy see it? i'm sorry for all these questions but does like does giddy see a, a role in helping people think through these models at all you know sometimes um there are people like yourself that understand metrics models because you help build them you know what I mean? And you understand kind of what you're looking at. Um, sometimes we do see, and I think Sean can speak to this, like you, you show people metrics and it's a little hard to understand what to do with this data. Sean, I don't know if- you know, Yeah, I think, I think that's true. And I, I think actually, you know, the metric models, which, you know, can give Yahoo a fair amount of credit for conceptualizing yeah. them, um, they, they, they answer the comprehensive question. So we, we, when we define the metrics, we have this goal question metric model for doing it. And I think uh, the metrics models are uh, just putting together stories that, that can be told with the metrics. Um, so instead of all these little atomic pieces, uh, I, I see what you just demonstrated as a storytelling um, yeah. platform in a way. The most of the real things, uh, except for the user story you provide and the and the, and the scenarios we introduced around this metrics model, we give them the time change about this about about this project, and also we give the chance to compare uh, the similar two uh, communities or, or more than two communities together to find uh, the differences between these two uh, uh, between these communities. We can find. Uh, what what uh, what uh, good things they have done? I, I could learn from what the wrong things they are did. I, I should avoid. I'll be interested to see because this is really, I think, our first deployment of metrics models like, like it, this. 
you know, know, yeah, the, yes, absolutely. You know, and I, I think for a long time when we deploy singular metrics, I think that's where a lot of questions come up, like age of an issue, for example, like, what do I do with this? But I, to Sean's point, the metric models provide kind of a, a better story, a better cover for a story. And I'm wondering if, I'll be curious to see if, if users of Compass um, can look at the metrics without as much human help and understand what it means for their community. Because early in chaos, the metrics, single metrics require a lot of human intervention, but I'm wondering mm -hmm. if the metric models will help alleviate that. I think it's a really good point. I, 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 we also noticed that uh, uh, there are some metrics in the metrics model. The definition is kind of long. So we have to change the word to, to let people e easily understand what it means. So uh, and that's, what, that's also why we provide uh, uh, some commu uh, communic communication channel like start Slack. And in China, we provide WeChat to help people to better understand what it means. And because you know, we just set up this community or assets compass, we may have some weekly meeting and maybe introduce more people uh, from yeah. China to chaos to, to, to discuss together around the metrics and metrics model. Okay, yeah, that'd be interesting. Cause like one of the, like, um... It'd be interesting as that conversation develops, Yehui, kind of the similar to the way that we have connected with, say, the to-do group, like trying to build that bridge will be really important, I think. And I completely trust you <laughs> on how to build that. <laughs> I mean, looking at the work you've done, clearly well, you're skilled. <laughs> and and when, I, when I think about scalability and um, advancing uh, Advancing Giddy awareness of Giddy in the European and U.S. marketplaces, if they're interested in that, um, I can see where a collaboration with Vitergia on you know providing deployments um, on GitHub and and you know that they could possibly because they have a a very strong consulting group with connections and open source. That there could be a very a very useful and productive partnership um, with Betergia. I don't know that if Giddy's thought about that or if that's of any interest to them, but I'm thinking of ways to um, bring this in front of people around the world faster. Um, and I, I think that uh, Betergia has a reach that um, you know I don't have, and um, Giddy doesn't have yet. So, I mean, I, I don't know, I just, um, I'm, I'm just, ima I'm imagining ways for this to sort of global domination of Compass, you know, Compass, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how to accelerate its adoption. And, and that, that thought occurs to me. So it's just a thought. <laughs> I have other random thoughts that occur to me. <laughs> global domination thought. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just, yeah, I'm just thinking of this is such a well done. I mean, it's clear clear that not only was some really excellent engineering time dedicated to it, but also you have some really good designers, and I I think that's that hasn't like I think I think Petergy and Auger do okay at a very average design. I think this is an exceptional design, and and that's what makes people use something <laughs> is is their experience interacting with it. The data has to be good, other otherwise you have LFX insights. But um, it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. I would like to you are, you are, you are, uh, good things to, to, to get the friends. As we have, oh, go ahead. Um, Sorry. Yeah, please tell your giddy friends. <laughs> um, as we as we have questions, so like I do have a few comments just on things I've seen or questions just on the interface. Mm -hmm. So if I'm to look at this, um, the, the metrics models, this will show the definitions of the different models. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, I, I really think that uh, metrics model 
So we have clear definitions, of course, we, are, uh, we could uh, we plan to set up the static page for that. Okay. And, uh, and every page, we have to mention that we will uh, uh, add uh, some reference to say this matrix model is coming from. from okay. Page. No, that's, so that'll be, it'll be a static page here showing the yeah. model. Okay. And then how do you, so when I look at, if I look at say code quality guarantee, I have a code quality score of 0.488. Like how is that created from the different metrics? Like how, how do I, how did you land at the, the value of 0.487? You know, like what's the, is that available to see or should it be described here? I'm just, and I think we will describe that in in, in the metrics model uh, stack, stack okay. page. Yeah. Okay. These, are, these are clear. All the uh, algorithm is uh, is published, uh, and uh, and uh, we we also could uh, publish that uh, the the algorithm or uh, the source we reference from, and give them more discussion points because. Okay. I don't think one algorithm could adapt every every uh, matrix model or scenarios. So they would like to introduce some more algorithm mm -hmm. to to adapt more things. Yeah, we are very open for that. Okay, because I think there's a, a lot of I don't know about what you think, Sean, but like a lot of power in these kind of aggregated metric model scores. Yeah, be over time. But I think that was the one thing I wondered when you were showing the interface was how, how did I get to 0.49? You know what I mean? Like, what is the, what's the transition? But I think you're answering that, Yahui, that you would describe that process in the models themselves. Yeah. Um... I have a one question, uh, Yahui. Yep. Yeah, so what is your plan like as, as a, Coming from the chaos perspective, as we are developing the more uh, models, like uh, as I see all like uh, value being changed to the OSPO and focusing more on the developing models. In this working group, we are also focusing on developing models. So how do you anticipate or incorporating those things in this platform as we develop more and more models or uh, as we evolve in the chaos on the model side? Uh, because uh yes <clears throat> we would have more matrix model in chaos that's we would happy to say that and also coming from many matrix models coming from other working group including the value group uh, and um, and after after it's published and uh, and mature enough and and we would uh, put it uh, into the oasis compass uh, community to consider how to implement it how to how to uh, deploy that and to, to find out some feedback from the different people and uh, once we think it's good enough we will deploy it uh, and the, for, of course first we have to design that and to to check if it's possible to collect uh, the, the the data available on, on github or GT and any other public uh, through that, any other public way uh, to create this matrix model, and we would uh, uh, create this matrix model and deploy that to to open up for, for to publish for everyone. But uh, I have to mention that we we cannot commit that we could implement and deploy all the matrix model exist in the in in, in the chaos. That's very a uh, uh, resources uh, cost. So we have to balance that. Yeah, no, I, I asked this question especially because a lot of discussions uh, were like, okay, we are developing the model, but how to implement is the part. And you have shown such a great thing on the implementation side. It's like, wow. And I was thinking like, okay, should we then focus on the models and let Yahoo take care of these things or it should like, I, I'm just wondering on those aspects. So Vinod, are you wondering, like, say, in the value working group or the OSPO working, the open source program office working group? Um, yes. As, as we develop a metric model, we simply just just 
do the definition and be done with it is that yes it, like we do the work and then bring it to the model working group and uh, let the yahoo and team uh, look at it on the employ deployment side sure. that is what i'm more like thinking yeah. on those stuff that that might work i mean to yahoo's point obviously they can't deploy everything yes. but i mean it could yes. it could be a, a workflow that might work yeah. i think it's a possible way to to set bridge between the uh, chaos and oasis compass and of course the Zospel group and the metrics model working group. Yep. So Yuhui, do you think it would be smart to let's say let's in a scenario where the OSPO working group develops a metric model that open source program offices would like to see as an example? Is it is it good enough to simply bring and then we develop the definition and we're done with it? Is it good enough to simply bring that to the metrics model working group? Or should we also mm -hmm. think about adding it as an issue in the you know, OSS Compass repository as well, just as an, as an alert saying we developed a new metric model. It may or may not be relevant to you, but here it is. I think, I think we can, we can uh, discuss it firstly in the, in the metrics model working group. Okay. And we decide that uh, if it's possible to, to, to deploy it on the asset. Okay. That's yeah. fair. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Does that help Thank you. Yes. It, it, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This was my main concern because we were more focused on the like uh, maybe theoretical part or developing the model, but also concern how to implement it is because we don't have much expertise in that group on implementation side. So. Sure. No, and that might be great because if we're working with open source program office managers, then we then we can be a bit more conceptual in the hospital. Right. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, well, <laughs> I think the general consensus was wow, and thank you. <laughs> it's just absolutely incredible. So, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's possible to to broadcast or promote it. Uh, you know, let more people to use it through the, you know, through the chaos this channel. Yeah, I mean, uh, do you so, want, do you want feedback on it right now? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the members in chaos, of course, they got they got high priority to to get uh, uh, to provide feedback for service yeah. because they are more familiar with whole metrics and metrics. Yeah, I mean that's I I mean we have the Slack, the general Slack channel that has six hundred some odd users mm -hmm. in our Slack yeah. channel. I mean this is a public domain site <laughs> so i don't see any harm and and no you know, i am i would promote it yeah um, I, and, um, I would even i would even encourage to have a chaos cost on this to, like for people to get to know about this yeah that was for uh, a podcast yes that Is would that, be yes this yes. is a really good idea <clears throat> yeah, so I, I think the answer is yes. Um, I mean, outside of just the the general things of of I'll connect with Elizabeth. It's her birthday today, so she's not here. I didn't know that. Oh, oh great! <laughs> <laughs> so, she, she didn't announce it in today's call, even. It is her birthday, so she is having some wine and watching a movie. I think so, <laughs> which is perfect. Um, but I'll you who I can connect with her and then you and I we can talk about promotion and chaos because I had that on the agenda as well that we can yeah. talk like kind of what the best ways would be and kind of what you think would be the appropriate ways, particularly within the chaos community. But I think you know, just starting with the Slack channel is no problem. But we may, yeah. I don't know, like we could have Elizabeth do it, maybe you could do it. Anyway, we can talk through it. Okay, so I'll we'll connect in Slack. Yep. and figure that out yep uh okay cool well gosh um sean look at that we didn't even really get to your action items because but they're we done <laughs> i mean i think we can press them forward so um, i think can we go, go ahead can we turn off the recording uh yep uh maybe yes hold on <laughs>